everyone in this session we are going to discuss an ultra important topic that is breast cancer or breast carcinoma in your university exam you usually get a long question on that in which you have to write everything about the breast carcinoma so we are going to discuss the clinical features the risk factors etiology classification gross microscopy of the various types staging prognostic factors grading everything about that so let's start the most important topic that is breast cancer so here you can see we are starting the topic that is breast carcinoma so i will be discussing the breast carcinoma under following heading so you have to learn the overview because if it is coming in your university exam you must understand under what headings under what headings or subheadings you have to frame your answer you don't have to write your answer under paragraphs you have to write it under headings and subheadings very beautifully in the form of the flow charts with maximum diagrams so first of all write down the introduction of the breast cancer then write down the most common age of presentation then write down the clinical features of the breast carcinoma then write down what is triple technique to diagnose it then what are the risk factors i will be discussing 11 risk factors and explain each of them why it is a risk factor how it is increasing the risk of the breast cancer then write down the classification from that classification four are ultra important that i will discuss the gross and microscopy of each of them that is ductal carcinoma in c2 lobular carcinoma in c2 infiltrative ductal carcinoma and infiltrative lobular carcinoma for each of them all these four we will be seeing the gross and microscopy for them in detail then we will see a special variant of the breast cancer that is paget disease of the nipple we will see this in detail and sometime you get a short question separately on the paget disease of nipple in your university exam then we will see latest classification the molecular classification you get a short note on this also separately then we will see the tnm staging and finally the prognostic factors so it's a long question if it is coming in your exam you have to write down everything about that so under these headings we are going to frame our answer the breast carcinoma let's start with the introduction of the breast carcinoma breast carcinoma is the most common cancer of the females in the world it is the cancer in the females mainly it occur in the males it's very rare you can see in the males it's very rare it is more common in the female uh, male is to female ratio is 1 is to 150 so if it is occurring in 150 female then it can occur in one male also rare of the rarest it can occur in the male but it can occur what is the most common age of presentation in female in female the most common age of presentation is perimenopausal what do you mean by perimenopausal usually menopause occurs at 50 years we consider so it occurs few years before or few years after menopause the most common age of presentation is 45 to 55 years so most of the breast cancer 90 percent of the breast cancer occurs in this age group and this is known as perimenopausal before or after just before or just after the menopause so that is perimenopausal age so we have seen the introduction we have seen the age now coming on the clinical feature the breast cancer is painless it's completely painless there is no pain in that it's a palpable lump inside the female breast and it's solitary usually it occurs single solitary it's single solitary painless palpable lump inside the breast of the female which is detected by the female herself while palpating the breast so that is the clinical features now coming on the triple technique there is a technique the triple technique for diagnosing of the breast cancer the most important thing in the triple technique is self palpation self breast palpation the manual self breast breast palpation the female herself can come to know that there is a mass detected in the breast so that is palpation after that the mammography should be performed in the mammography we can see the mass we can see whether it is benign whether it is malignant and finally we have to perform FNAC what is FNAC fine needle aspiration cytology in which with the help of a fine needle we have to aspirate few cells uh, out of the out of that lesion and we have to make a smear and we have to see whether it is benign or malignant if it is malignant we have to uh, do the surgery earliest and we have to start the treatment okay that is FNAC so what is the triple technique in the triple technique three things are there number one palpation number two mammography number three FNAC so you can understand this is triple technique so we have seen the introduction it is the most common cancer of the females in India in the world age of presentation is perimenopausal just before the menopause or just after the menopause clinical feature it's painless palpable lump solitary lump in the female breast and triple technique in triple technique three things are there for diagnosis number one self palpation number two mammography and number three FNAC fine needle aspiration cytology now coming on the risk factors for the breast cancer there are 11 risk factors for breast cancer how many risk factors we are having we are having 11 risk factors for the breast cancer can you please enumerate them first we will enumerate and then we will write the detail two two lines for each of them so in your exam also you have to write one two one two lines on each of them the first is geographical 